Hello, you're watching HW News. This is me, Anusha. The INX media case involving senior Congress leader P. Chitambaram is back to haunt him as both the CBI and the ED officials visited his residence yesterday night. This comes a day after the Delhi High Court had said that the INX media case was a classic case of money laundering. The former finance minister and senior Congress leader P. Chitambaram today is seeking relief from the Supreme Court after the Delhi High Court yesterday refused to grant him any protection from arrest. Now, well, it all started back in 2017 when the Central Bureau of Investigation filed an FIR alleging irregularities in foreign investment promotion board clearance to INX Media for receiving overseas funds to tune to of rupees 305 crore back in 2007 when he was a finance minister under the Manmohan Singh cabinet. Now, the CBI accused both him and his son, Karti Chitambaram, and unknown officials of the finance ministry in this case. The INX media was once owned by Indrani Mukherjee and Peter Mukherjee, the couple who are now in jail in different cases. A business and finance editor, Mr. Akhilesh Bhargav, has also done an explainer on the INX media and SL Max's case. We will link you in the description box below to know more about it. Now, yesterday, after Delhi High Court refused to grant him any protection from arrest, a team of CBI and Enforcement Directorate visited his posh house in Delhi, but the leader didn't show up. The former finance minister remained away as the CBI and ED teams raid, and another team visited the house later to paste the notice. The notice reads that whereas it appears that you are acquainted with the facts and circumstances of the case noted below, which I am now investigating under the chapter 12 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, you are hereby directed to attend before me within two hours of the receipt of this notice for the purpose of the investigation of the case. Now, the investigators said that Mr. Chitambaram facilitated a mammoth foreign funding for this television company. Now, yesterday during the hearing, the Delhi High Court Justice Sunil Gaur firstly denied relief to P. Chitambaram and said that the facts of the case prima facie reveals that he is the kingpin or the key conspirator in the case and was avoiding replies to the probe agencies when it was under when he was under the protective cover given by the High Court. Not only did the justice but the investigative team during the argument had also opposed Chidambaram's plea on the ground that his custodial interrogation was required but he dodged them all. And agreeing with the agency, the judge who is all set to retire on August 23rd had also admitted this case being the classic one of money laundering and granting bail in such a case sending a wrong message to the society. There have been many times allegations during the Modi regime that agencies like CBI, ED, etc., which is the criminal investigation agencies, they have been used by the Modi regime in order to settle political scores, in order to unleash political vendetta. While it has all, always been said that these agencies have been tools in the hands of the government to harass opponents, what is being said is that in the Modi regime, the incidence of such harassment has been much higher. Thus, whenever any politician, especially from the opposition parties, is raided, interrogated, arrested, or is questioned by these criminal agencies, a UN cry is raised across the political spectrum, alleging persecution, vendetta, victimization, and harassment in order to silence political opponents. And these charges have surfaced in the case of Mr. Chidambaram also. He is under imminent arrest by CBI and ED for charges that have been levied against him in two particular cases, which is the INX media case and the SL Maxis case. In the INX media case, a confession statement was made by Indrani and Peter Mukherjee against Mr. Chidambaram in 2017, wherein they said that for bribes being given or rather for a consideration that was paid to Karthi Chidambaram who is Mr. P. Chidambaram's son, all their violations of foreign exchange investments were condoned and regularized by the government. And those were condoned at a time when Mr. Chidambaram headed the FIPB as the finance minister. The other case that pertains to him, even though it has not been the matter of focus in yesterday's rejection of his bail plea by the Delhi High Court. But the other case which is lurking on the corner is the ASL Maxis case. Even in that, 
very serious violation of foreign exchange investment regulations and laws took place because of certain approvals granted by Mr. Chidambaram, which were completely contrary to the law of the land at that point of time. And the law was bypassed. Again, the allegation is on account of corruption. So the charges against Mr. Chidambaram are those of money laundering, corruption and misuse of power. And if you go by the Delhi High Court judge's comments yesterday, the evidence against him is certainly extremely incriminating. Yet another case which seems to us, according to us, which is brewing, is to do with Air India's acquisition of 111 aircraft at a cost of over 70,000 crores, which was approved by a committee headed by Mr. P. Chidambaram. And that has been said when Mr. Praful Patel was being questioned by the Enforcement Directorate, wherein he said that those decisions wherein corruption is being alleged were actually taken by a committee headed by Mr. Chidambaram. India goes by evidence and if you go by the present contentions of these agencies, there is huge evidence against Mr. Chidambaram for his misuse of power and of course for the price. That needs to be investigated and as the agencies say, they need to arrest him and then question him because his replies so far have been pretty evasive. Now, meanwhile, backing their own senior party member, the Congress rallied behind the former union minister. In a tweet, the Congress wrote that a government that persecutes its citizen for speaking truth to power is only reiterating its own cowardly nature. P. Chitambaram is an extremely qualified and respected leader. He has served this nation with dedication and humility. We stand by his quest for truth no matter what. The Congress leaders like Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi had also tweeted in support of the former union minister after the ED and the CBI moved to arrest him in the INX media case. But Priyanka Gandhi alleged that P. Chidambaram was being haunted down for speaking the truth. Rahul Gandhi accused the ED and the CBI and the section of the media of character assassinating the former union finance minister. It says that an extremely qualified and respected member of the Rajya Sabha, P. Chitambaram ji, has served our nation with loyalty for decades, including as finance minister and home ministers. Priyanka Gandhi had further said that he unhesitatingly speaks truth to power and exposes the failure of this government, but the truth is inconvenient to cowards, so he is being shamefully haunted down. We stand by him and will continue to fight for the truth, no matter what the consequences are, she wrote. Now, Rahul Gandhi had also tweeted saying that Modi's government is using the ED and the CBI and section of the spineless media to character assassinate P. Chitambaram. He further said that I strongly condemn this disgraceful misuse of power. Now, meanwhile, other Congress leaders, including Abhishek Manu Singhvi to Randeep Singh Sujewala, had also expressed their views on the support of Mr. P. Chitambaram. So to sum up this entire matter, P. Chitambaram is still missing. The investigative agency had issued a lookout circular. The Supreme Court bench denied interim relief and cannot pass any order against him. Kapil Sibyl, who is representing him in the Supreme Court, is in talks with the Apex Court staff. Everybody is waiting for the Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi's final call, but still, there is no news of hearing on P. Chitambaram's matter today as he is busy. The CJI is busy with the Ayodhya dispute matter. Well, we'll update you with all the development on this issue. Until then, stay tuned to HW News. .in. Now, be the first to know about the latest updates on our new news app. Go on your Android or iOS, search for HW News Network. Download our app, choose the language you prefer to get updates in and be up to date with the latest news. HW News Network today is a year and a half old. Thanks to your support, thanks to your love, we've grown. We require your support a little more. What we request you to do is to download our free app. Our app is in Hindi, English and Marathi. We promise to update you with the latest news, views, analysis, interview. We also have a live TV going in that. If you download our app, we will get advertisers. And if we get advertisers, we'll get revenue. We get revenue, we can serve you better. So once again, please do support us. Please download our app. Namaskar.